Hello, I'm Mariam Azmi and you are watching Heart News. Today we are going to find out about atrial fibrillation, a type of irregular heartbeat with one of the largest heart centers in Asia Pacific, Institute Janto Nagara, IJN. Having fact that people with AF is five times more likely to have a stroke, and stroke accounts for 5 million of deaths worldwide. That is equivalent to 12% of all deaths annually. This fact that should be worried, let us find out more about AF with our experts at IGN. What is atrial fibrillation? Atrial fibrillation is a condition where people's heart will become abnormal in terms of their rhythm. In a normal condition, we have a sinus rhythm. <coughs> in which the heart rate is regular and is predictable. So when you have atrial fibrillation, the heart rate becomes irregular, fast and unpredictable. How is AF diagnosed? The easiest way to diagnose atrial fibrillation is actually by doing an ECG, uh, i.e. people go and see a doctor or go to the clinic and the nurse will fix the ECG leads and then they will run the ECG machines and they will come out as a printed papers and the doctor will look at the papers and tell you whether you have uh, atrial fibrillation or not. The treatment for atrial fibrillation in terms of ablation was, was not started until 1998 or 2000s. And since then I think at most we have about 100 to 150 cases of AF ablation per year. Dr. Aslan Hussein is IGN's senior consultant cardiologist who is also specialized in electrophysiologist. Atrial fibrillation is caused by a multitude of factors that is a bit too complicated to elucidate within a short period of time but just in a nutshell it is basically an interaction between the trigger that starts the atrial fibrillation as well as the substrate that maintains the atrial fibrillation once it's uh, started. The symptoms of atrial fibrillation ranges from one spectrum where the patient has no symptoms at all and it was discovered as an accidental finding. In between you have patients who have recurrent episodes of palpitations. In patients with an underlying problems of hypertension, they may have problems where their blood pressure is difficult to control. In patients with an underlying problems of uh, coronary artery disease, they may have chest pain, they may have difficulty in breathing. At the other end of the spectrum are patients who have symptoms resulting from complications of atrial fibrillation and this would be in patients who have strokes. The most common factor linking to atrial fibrillation is age. As one gets older, the chances of getting atrial fibrillation multiplies many times. There are other associated factors and this ranges from common things like atrial fibrillation, things like uh, associated with structural problems of the heart, such as patients with valvular heart disease, patients with mitral stenosis. It can also be due to patients with long-standing diabetes. And at the other part, at the other end of the spectrum is that in patients with atrial fibrillation, there's no underlying cause. The patient just has or develop atrial fibrillation. How should AF be treated? Okay, there's First of all, in atrial fibrillation, there's two parts of treatment. One is treatment for the prevention of stroke and the other one is the prevention of symptoms. For the prevention of strokes, the ideal treatment are blood thinners, which are known as oral anticoagulants. And for some patients who are not able to take oral anticoagulants, there is a device that occludes the left atrial appendage and is known as the left atrial appendage occluder. The device that is used in IJN is known as the watchman. For the symptom relief, there are many methods. You can use either rate controlling drugs such as beta blockers or if you want to put the patient back into sinus rhythm then you would use rate con uh, rhythm control drugs such as flaconide, amiodaron or if that fails then you can go on to catheter ablation either using fire which is known as radio frequency ablation or using cold energy which is known as cryo balloon ablation. What are the treatments and devices available for patients with AF? Well, sometimes when you treat patients with atrial fibrillation uh, with drugs, they may go into slower heart rates, which are known as bradycardia. And at times like this, the patients may need devices such as this, which is a leadless pacemaker known as a micra, or they may go on to use a dual chamber pacemaker or a CRT, where they will have a three, two wires into the heart or three wires into the heart. 
With treatment, patients can live symptom-free and have a better quality of life, potentially lower serious risks of complications that can happen. I'm Mariam Azmi reporting for Heart News. Don't forget to subscribe.